But as I move my hand closer, then the light turns on on pin 13. And it turns off when I move my hand away. That means that this Arduino distance sensor is working. Tanner, tech, tanner, tech, tanner, tanner, tech, tanner, tech, tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today, I'm going to be showing you something called an ultrasonic distance sensor. Now, if you've ever seen any robots on YouTube videos or any website, you'll notice that a lot of them have these eyes. Now, these eyes aren't really eyes. They are piezoelectric transducers that are able to create a sound that bounces off an object and comes back to it to tell the sensor uh, how far an object away is from it. This will allow this uh, sensor to be used with many different projects to tell the robot or project how far it is away from a certain object. It's really useful. So in this video I'm going to be explaining how these work and how you can use them with an Arduino to get some real distance readings. Let's get started. First of all, we need to figure out how one of these ultrasonic distance sensors works. So let's take a look at it. So if we look at the sensor, we can see, first of all, there are these two large cylinders soldered to the top of it. Now, each of these cylinders is something called a piezoelectric transducer. This is something that turns electrical signals into sound using a piezoelectric crystal. Now, what happens is the circuitry on the back, which includes high-frequency oscillators and operational amplifiers, is able to take a signal from one of these pins, the trigger pin, and that converts that signal into a very high-frequency oscillation coming from one of these piezoelectric transducers. Now this is a sound wave that comes out of this transducer and fires at a wall or whatever object is near this. Now what happens is this uh, sound wave bounces off the wall and comes back, and when it comes back it hits the second piezoelectric transducer. That small vibration causes an electrical current to flow out of this piezoelectric transducer. <clears throat> that current is amplified by this operational amplifier on the back and is sent out as a pulse from the echo pin. Now how this works is you send one signal into trigger and you also have to supply the VCC and ground with the supply voltage. And what happens is when you put a pulse on this trigger pin, it'll send a very quick pulse of sound out of one. Now, when the sound returns, it'll send a pulse on echo. Now, you can count the timing between the pulses when they come out of the uh, transducer and when they receive into the other transducer, and you can calculate the timing behind those two pulses to figure out how far away it is. Now, how you calculate this is you need to use the speed of sound. Now, we know the speed of sound is 340 meters per second. So if we have the signal coming out of this and back, then we know that that time divided by two is how much time it takes the sound to reach the wall. And since we know that it goes 340 meters per second, we can easily calculate the distance that it takes based on the time it takes for the signal to travel out of this piezoelectric transducer and back into the other one. So now that you know kind of how this is, um, ultrasonic distance sensor works. Let's hook it up to an Arduino. Now to do this, we'll take an Arduino. Now I'm using an Arduino Nano because they're a lot more powerful than Uno, have a lot more pins, and are overall a much better design. So I'm going to take it out of this bag. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, one of these ribbon cables and we're going to connect pin 12 to the echo pin, pin 11 to trigger pin, and pin 13 to nothing. We're also going to connect VCC to VCC and ground to ground on the Arduino. Now this should complete our little setup after we connect everything together. You can then plug this entire Arduino and ultrasonic sensor system in to the computer via a USB cable. Now if I turn on the computer <clears throat> and open up the Arduino IDE, you can see that I have a code already written. Now what this code does is it sets trigger pin to 11 and echo pin to 12 and the LED pin to 13. And then what it does here is it uh, begins serial. And this means that the Arduino can report its uh, data to the serial monitor. 
Then we have the trigger pin initializes output, echo pin input, and LED output. Now if we look here in the loop, we can see that we just have a few uh, variables inside here as longs. Now a long means the number is stored as a 32 bit. Now what happens is the trigger pin is first set to low for 2 microseconds, then it is set to high for 10 microseconds, and then low again. This means that it's going to be outputting a high frequency ultrasonic signal for about 10 seconds. Now what happens is after this, then it goes low again. And then what it does is the duration equals pulse in. Now pulse in is how much time it takes for the echo pin to become high. Now this duration is then calculated, divided by 2 and divided by 29.1 to get the distance in centimeters. Now this is using the same formula that I was explaining in the beginning of the video. Now what happens is this code simply turns the LED on if the distance is less than 9 and turns it off if it is greater than 9. It also reports out of range if the distance is over 200 or under 0, because these numbers would be extraneous values. Now if we look down here, it will also print the distance in centimeters. This delay on the bottom is merely to make sure your serial monitor is not overloaded by a constant reflow of data, and it makes the whole process smoother. So now that we know what this code does and how it works, we can upload it to the Arduino, and we can start to see some values in the serial monitor. Now, as you can see, there is no light on for pin 13 of the Arduino, just the TX pin, because it's transmitting data to the serial monitor. But as I move my hand closer, then the light turns on on pin 13, and it turns off when I move my hand away. That means that this Arduino distance sensor is working. As I move my hand closer and farther, it changes the state of pin 13 LED. Now, we can see the actual values that this sensor is reporting if we take a look at it in the serial monitor. Now, the serial monitor is an important tool you will find in the Arduino IDE, which is under Tools, <coughs> and it is under Serial Monitor. Now, what the serial monitor does is it reports all of the distances that are reported by the distance sensor. So, as you can see, as I move my hand closer and farther from the distance sensor, the distance changes. So when I move it farther, it gets larger, and larger, and larger, and larger. And eventually it gets so big that it reports out of range, an extraneous value. So as you can see, this is a very really easy way to set up your distance sensor with an Arduino, so that way it'll work very good, and you can use this for different robotic applications. So that's it. Pretty simple, eh? That is how you can take an ultrasonic distance sensor and actually get real values from an Arduino. Now this is pretty helpful for just measuring distance in general, and it'll also be helpful if you want to make any kind of robot that wants to know its surroundings, like this robot. So in my next video, I'll be showing you how to take this old RC car and convert it into a robot that will be able to use these three distance sensors mounted to it and it will be able to navigate around a track to drive in circles by itself, which is pretty cool. So stay tuned for our next So stay tuned for my next video where I will be showing you how to make the robot do this. Thanks for watching.